Alrighty, so our problem reads, suppose a faucet leaks at one drop per second. Estimate how many gallons per month are wasted. There are about 16 drops in one teaspoon. Use 30 days in one month. And the information it gives us is three teaspoons equals one tablespoon, and 16 tablespoons equals one cup. Um, this is everything the problem says. The rest is just information I have added. Um, so we need to go back. First thing we need to do is look at our problem and highlight all of our essential important information. So it tells us that a faucet leaks at one drop per second, and it wants us to estimate how many gallons per month are wasted. And it also tells us that there are about 16 drops in one teaspoon. All right. So we need to go from teaspoons to gallons and from seconds to months. So the first thing we do is we're gonna write down our one drop and I'm gonna switch colors to differentiate the drops and oops, to differentiate the drops in the seconds. So one drop per every one second. So we're gonna start with our drops. So we know that it's one drop per second, and we know that there are 16 drops in one teaspoon. So we've got one teaspoon for every 16 drops. And we're gonna be using TSP as an abbreviation for teaspoon and TBS as an abbreviation for tablespoon. Now, if we put our drop in the numerator here and our drops in the denominator here, that cancels out our drops. And that is the process we're gonna be using this entire problem to go from teaspoons to gallons and from seconds to months. All right, so next we know, so we have teaspoons, and we know that three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. So we'll put our three teaspoons in our denominator, so these two will cancel out, and our one tablespoon in the numerator. Cancel out our teaspoons. And we know that there are one cup for every 16 tablespoons. And that will cancel our tablespoons. Now, that's the only information our problem gives us for the info needed wise. But we still need to get from cups to gallons. So we're going to use this right here. And um, we'll know this from our Mr. Gallon Man that we learned to go from cups to gallons. So one pint equals two cups. So we've got one pint here for every two cups. And our cups will cancel. And then we've got one quart for every two pints. And our pints are gonna cancel. And lastly, to get to gallons, one gallon for every four quarts, and our quarts will cancel. So we're left with gallons in our numerator. So we've gone from teaspoons to gallons, but we still need to go from seconds to months. So I'm going to switch colors to show you the month or from the seconds to months. So here, our seconds is in our denominator. So in order for our seconds to cancel out, our seconds are need to go, going to need to go in the numerator per minute. So we know that there are 60 seconds for every one minute. And think of this as all one continuous problem still. We just ran out of space. So our seconds is in our denominator here, in our numerator here. So our seconds will cancel. And now we need to cancel our minutes, and we know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. And our minutes are going to cancel. And we know there are 24 hours in one day. And right now we need to go from days to months, and our problem says to use 30 days in one month. So we'll use 30 days for one month. And our days will cancel. All right, so now we have everything we need to solve the problem. 
and we need to solve it now. So, oh, and we're left with months here. So here we went from seconds to months. So now we need to multiply everything in our numerator to get our gallons, and we need to multiply everything in our denominator to get our months. So the numerator, we have 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, which is going to give us 1. We have several more down here. So we're going to do 1 times 60 times 60 times 24 times 30. And that gave us 2,592,000. Gallons All right, we need to do our months, which is our denominator. Denominator We've got one times sixteen times three times sixteen times two times two times four and then times one times one times one times one. That gives us 12,288 months. So now we have gallons per month, which is what our end goal was, what we needed. But we need an exact number. So we need to take this 2,592,000 gallons divided by 12,288 months, plug that back in, 2,592,000 thousand divided by 12,288 and that gives us 210.9375 and since it says to estimate I'm going to round this to two decimal places so we've got 210.94 and now we need to write our sentence so it says estimate how many gallons per month are wasted and Gallons per month wasted is 210.94. So we're going to write there will be approximately 210.94 gallons per month. And that is how you would solve this problem using unit conversions.